Hey guys, it's Alan Foriel and welcome to another episode of Remnant from the Ashes. Yeah, and if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please hit the subscribe button and hit the bell notification for all the videos that's going to come out in the future. And please do like and comment because your comments really matter a lot because I wouldn't know what point should I improve without your help and suggestions, right? So, um, be like... And I really like to thank all my audience in my previous videos for supporting me and being there for me. Like it really means a lot, guys. I really love you all. And today I'm gonna do a tutorial video on the best weapons you can get in the beginning in War 13. And yeah, like I'll show you the best guns, the best stats. So let's get going now. So once you start this game like after the mission like the first mission you get you get like three uh, archetype right like three classes uh, the hunter the ex cultist and the scrapper the scrapper is max on defense the ex cultist is a mid range guy and well the hunter is based on attack so I would literally go with the middleman like the ex cultist because his stats are really good once you upgrade it it's totally the word then like when you start this game like right after activating the teleportation crystal you gotta get two things okay that's like a, there's an armor and a key card so you gotta use this teleportation uh, crystal and it'll just pop up one place that is the founder's hideout just gotta teleport to the hideout and I'll just show you once we reach it just give me a sec and here we are so once you're here you just gotta climb the stairs just pretty much head up straight I guess like you say follow the path where it leads you to and right on the table you, you'll see the key card and eat the desk collect the key card and there'll be like a note just read it through like it's not important not so important but who knows easter eggs right I might feature that in the like in the future videos so yeah and after you read that you see this cupboard right over here it's so fishy break it yeah good once you break that you find a secret passage crouch get in once you get in you'll see a two boxes over here break it unfortunately I didn't get anything might you guys get something great then there's this journal open the journal like and read it through I, I just want to do a quick reading you know it's pretty good just give me a sec here, I'm just gonna read it this read this real quick. But once you're done reading, then you gotta head up straight. There's the armor, the drifter's armor. Where you gotta get that up and equip it. Just wear it up, cause it's lightweight and you, it's gonna be worth wearing it. Cause you gotta do a lot of running right now. So travel light, wear it, and head back to like our War 13 base. Once you reach here, you guys got to. You just have to go to the War 13 floor. But before that, just, let me just take a quick loot it's loot time and yep just got it here let me just see it quick so this is a reactor room and below that is a water 13 so you gotta go blow reactor room and voila world 13 i go there and this is key card this is a card scanner use the key card you achieve from the founder's hideout open the door Now you gotta go to the right and there's this book, you gotta get that trade point. And I'll just start with the important trade here. The important trade you'll get here is called the Elder, Elder Knowledge that you'll get on the second door to the left. Yeah, this door, uh, this room right here. Break the cupboard and there'll be a voice record, like a voice recorder. Click on a play and you get it. There you have the trade skill, uh, trade skill and it's pretty important. It helps you get more trade points and helps you get more XP 
and then next to the add room is uh, you'll get a fuse and the fuse are really important so you got to go to the reactor and I'll say why though so once you hit the reactor room like yeah there's this door right over here it's just not like opening up so the key card is also not working they say it doesn't appear to be there or whatever so you just got to go here hit the fuse back in and boom Eureka now we have electricity now go back again to the key card uh, the card reader put the card you guys got right now and there you go in the morning sorry you just gotta off it again then open the door again yep and why off the electricity this is totally not suspicious ventilation system where there's a hidden passage over here there you get the master key to ward 13 which is important and oh this is trade point let me just go collect that real quick oh okay it's a little time sorry guys give me a give me like give me two minutes okay i'll make this quick so uh yeah guys gotta collect all the important all the scraps because it's really important when you upgrade your guns armor and all okay so don't miss out irons or anything because killing enemies actually doesn't matter if you can't get the loot right so get the straight point now we gotta head back to war 13 and use the same direction i'm just gonna get some stuff real quick jump got it next room yep nothing there. you gotta get to this room here uh and well once you get over here you gotta open this door uh to open this door we got the key right now from that totally non-suspicious ventilation system and I'm just gonna break this chair real quick because it's cute. Got it. And loot. And there we have it. Our submission gun. There we have it. Hey, that's pretty good. Yep. There is this is one of the best guns you guys have it. Like guys, keep this, upgrade this, and use it as much as you can. And um there's a skill they call hot shot. Use that, it's pretty good. Well, that's it, guys, for the War 13, I guess. Like, pretty much that's all is there to it. And thanks for watching. I love you guys. See you next week.